Okay, my friends. So we've done this many times before, and you know that the first thing we do is we settle. So we're going to pay attention to our bodies and our breath, okay? So you can sit. You can sit with your legs crossed like a pretzel. Get comfortable. Let your hands rest on your knees and roll your shoulders. Make big circles with your shoulders. And you can take a big breath in through your nose and breath out through your mouth. Big breath in, shoulders up to your ears. And breath out, let your shoulders roll down. One more time. Big breath in, shoulders up to your ears. And breathe out, relax your shoulders. Very good. You can keep your eyes open or close your eyes and start to pay attention to your breath, okay? So breathe in as if there was a balloon inside your belly and you want to inflate the balloon. So breathe in and breathe out, deflate the balloon. Make the balloon bigger, breathe in and make the balloon smaller. Breathe out. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> nice work. So let's move our arms as if they were uh, moving with the wind. So pretend that it's a little windy outside and move your arms. Yes, as if they were the limbs of a tree. There was a big storm the other day, right? And a lot of branches of trees fell down. Some trees fell down. So go ahead and move your arms side to side. And then now you are the wind. So make a big movement with your arms and your body. You are the wind. Go everywhere. You are the wind. <sighs> You can even make the sound of the wind. And now you're just a light breeze. Just a light breeze. Very nice. So I have here, so these are the pom-poms. Blow them just like a light breeze. Okay, so I'm going to put one on my, my hand, and you can blow with me. Are you ready? Take a breath in and blow like a soft breeze. Nice, thank you. Let's do it a few more times. Ready? Breathe in through your nose and blow like a soft breeze. Nice work. One more. Look, this one's blue. Ready? Breathe in through your nose and a soft breeze. Nice work, my friends. All right. So, you know that there is a holiday coming up, right? And you told me what it is. It's Thanksgiving. So think for a moment about something that you're thankful for. So you can be thankful for the grown-ups who take care of you. You can be thankful for your home, pets, if you have pets, siblings, teachers, right? So take a moment and hold all of those people in your heart, your grandmas and grandpas, just the people that you love, things that you love, and take a moment to hold them close to your heart. Take a breath in. Breathe out, bow your head. So fold, let your head come close towards the floor. And breathe yourself back upright. Very good. Now, during Thanksgiving, when we celebrate, most people eat a certain animal. What animal is that? I'm going to read your lips. What animal is it? You wanna speak? You can speak. What is it? That's it. It's a turkey, right? 
So all year long, the turkeys get bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So pretend that you're a turkey. If you were a turkey, what would you look like, right? You would have wings and you would go gobble, gobble, right? You would move your neck, right? Gobble, gobble, and you're all happy living your life. But then Thanksgiving comes and everybody wants to buy turkeys and eat turkeys. What would you do if you were a turkey? I would go and move away from the people. I would try to hide. <laughs> Pretend that you're a turkey. You don't want to get caught. You don't want to get caught. Maybe you can camouflage. What if you pretended to be a different animal? Do you think that turkeys can do that? Not every turkey, but maybe we can. That's it. That's it. Okay, so let's do this. Let's pretend that we're turkeys that can camouflage. So let's make different animal shapes with our body. So the first one will be cat. Do you remember cat shape? Cat. So now you're not a turkey anymore. Now you're a cat. Do you remember cow? Let's do the cow pose. Moo. And cat. Meow. And cow. Moo. And cat. Meow. One more animal. Dog. Let's do dog. Lift your tail. You're a dog. Good. Now let's do these three animals together. Knees down, chest up, moo. Meow. Woof, 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 woof. Dog. One more time. Moo. Meow. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> Good work, my friends. Do a big uh, jump like a like a frog. Jump like a frog. That's it. We're trying to be different animals. You can't be turkey. You can't be turkey in November. <laughs> All right, let's do a little bit of frog hopping. Hop like a frog. Hop. Oh, nice big jump there, James. One more. One more big jump. And come all the way up to stand. That's it. Stand up tall. Reach your arms all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart. Feel your heartbeat. I think your heartbeat is beating fast. Mine is because we were jumping, right? Okay. Now, let's be gorillas. Remember, we can't be turkeys. Let's be gorillas. So, gorillas hit their chest. Right, they're big, big and strong. So use fists and hit your chest. Ooh, 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 ooh. Make a gorilla sound. Ooh, 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 ooh. And now a chimpanzee, fold in half and drag your hands on the floor. Drag your hands on the floor. Gorilla again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And chimpanzee again. And can you make your arms look just like the trunk of the elephant? So bring your hands together, arms long. This is the elephant trunk. Reach all the way up and reach all the way down. Reach up, pretend that there is a river going by and you pick up the water and you give yourself a nice bath with it. That's it, like a shower. And pick up the water from the river. You can make the elephant sound. Give yourself a nice elephant shower. Last time, pick up the water from the river with your trunk and spray it all over your big elephant body. Very good, my friends. Stand up nice and tall. And I know that you know a whole bunch of poses that you can do with just one leg on the floor. So let's get started. 
Stand on your right foot. Pick up your left leg. Move the knee out to the side and try to stay. Try to balance on one leg. You're a tree. You're a tree. But remember, the wind is strong. So you try not to fall. You try not to fall. Can you stay really strong and rooted? Yes, you can. Beautiful. But then the storm comes. The storm comes. The storm comes. This tree is strong and it doesn't fall. Nice work. Shake your legs out. Jiggle like jelly. Jiggle like jelly. You're a jellyfish. That's right. Let's do the other side. Stand on your left foot. Pick up your right knee. Move the knee out to the side. Tree pose on the other leg. Are you very strong? Is this leg strong? Grow the branches of your tree. Reach up to the sky. Reach for the sun. And there's a little breeze, just a gentle breeze. So the branches are moving, just a little breeze. That's it, Claire. Gentle breeze. Uh-oh, the wind's picking up. It's getting a little stronger. The branches are going everywhere. The leaves are falling. Oh, no. Do you think this tree is going to topple? <laughs> Sometimes the trees fall down, right? Oh, but if that happens, a lot of times there are little tiny seeds. And let's pretend that we're a little seed. Little seed. And then we're going to begin to grow. So came the sun and the rain. And little by little the seed began to sprout, begin to sprout, coming through the ground, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And now you're a tree all over again. You can just be a baby tree now. Very nice. Now, sand the leg that's not your standing leg, all the way back behind you. Pretend that you're wearing a cape. And now you're just like a superhero. You can open your arms out to the side as if you were in an airplane and imagine that you have a superpower. You choose. What's your superpower? You're super strong, remember? Yes. Fly with your cape. Maybe reach your arms all the way in front of you and come back up to stand. And give your legs a little shake. Give your arms a little shake. Jiggle like jelly. And let's try the other side. Stand on your other leg. Remember, you're starting like a tree. Now you're a big grown up tree. That's it, very good, James. Now we're going to send this leg back because now you're gonna be a superhero. Put on your cape, arms out, and pretend that you're flying. <laughs> Maybe your arms go all the way in front. I see some of you are upside down. That's it. <laughs> you are so strong and smart. And come back up to stand. All right. Bring your hands to your heart. Listen to your heartbeat for a moment. Nice and quiet, nice and calm. And let your arms rest by your side. So you've done yoga with me before. You know that this pose is just like a soldier, right? So you can think of a mountain, strong and steady. Now, jump out like a starfish. Open your arms, open your legs like a starfish. And then reach all the way up like a rocket ship. And now we're gonna keep moving. Starfish, soldier, starfish, rocket ship. Starfish, soldier, starfish, rocket ship. Starfish, soldier, starfish, soldier. Ha <laughs> I got you. What's next? Rocket ship, starfish, rocket ship, starfish, 
Starfish. Soldier. <laughs> Rocket ship. Starfish. Rocket ship. Starfish. Soldier. Mush. Mush. <laughs> oh, getting tired, right? Bring your hands to your heart. Notice if your heart is beating fast. Very good. All right, my friends. So let's come back. Knees and hands to your mat or your rug, wherever you're practicing yoga. And make the shape of a table. So pretend that somebody can come and put something on your back and you're so strong that you're just like a table, nothing will fall off. Good, now we're going to flip the table, okay? So go ahead and sit, hands back behind you, flip your table. Now your belly goes up, push down into your hands, belly up, that's it. This also looks a little bit like, like a crab, right? It could be another animal. So what if one of the legs of the, the table breaks off? What happens if one leg breaks? Does the, the table fall off? Or is your table strong with three legs? Is your table strong with just three legs? Mine is. Very good. Let's play some crab soccer. So I have a ball. It's okay if you don't. You can just pretend. Another time, if you have a ball, pretend that you're a crab and kick the ball. Kick the ball. Move around. Just uh, rolling the ball. See, my ball went too far. I'm going to leave it be. Just move your, move your crab around. As you know, crabs don't just walk forward. So can you move? Can you move your table? That's it. All right. Bring your seat all the way down. Hug your knees to your chest. Give them a little hug. Curl like a little ball or like a little potato from Thanksgiving. And we're going to roll into our backs. So go all the way back. Open your arms out to your side. And just roll your knees from side to side. Roll your knees from side to side. Let your arms rest. Just move your legs. Move your legs as if you were opening the pages of a book. Moving them to one side and to the other. Very good. Bring your knees again to your chest. Reach your legs up. And move your toes, move your feet. As you move your toes, they can look like the, the flickering light of a candle. I suppose it's called candlestick. You can even bring your legs up a little bit higher, a little higher, and move your feet, move your toes, and let's come all the way back and rest on our knees. One more animal pose here. Look what I have. Can you see what animal this is? Look, this is, yeah, what is it? Can you show me, Claire? Yes, it's a lion, that's right. Okay, so what, do li what sound do lions make? Roar, right? Okay. So rest on your knees. Yes, roar. They roar. Rest on your knees. Hands to your knees. Roll your shoulders like we did before. And now stick your tongue out and roar. <laughs> Big broad chest, right? Lions have a mane. Yes. Hands to your knees and roar. Very good. You're excellent, lions. One more time. Nice work. Now let's go back to being cats, okay? Now you're just kind of like a tiny little cat. Meow. And a cow. 
Moo. And a cat? Meow. And a cow? Moo. Very good. Okay, so we did a whole bunch of animal poses. I'm just going to remind you, we did cat and cow. We did downward dog. We also did frog, right? We did gorilla, chimpanzee, crab, and lion. So pick your favorites. So many different animals, right? Many choices. Pick your favorites. And we're going to play a game. So I am going to take my rattle, okay? And when I stop shaking it, I want to see you making one of the animal shapes, okay? But you're going to have to make different shapes each time. Deal? Yes? Okay, good. Ready? Set? Go. Think of the animal shape that you're gonna make. And as soon as I stop, make the animal shape. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, is that the elephant? Is that the elephant? No? Which one is it? <laughs> I don't know which one that was, but that's okay. I trust you. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, are you a shark? Were you a shark? <gasps> you were a shark. That's fine. You can be a shark. We didn't do shark today, but you can be a shark. All right, here we go. Now you need to be a different animal. <laughs> you got me on that one. All right, here we go. <laughs> Okay, get ready and a different animal. <laughs> you are doing soldier, starfish, and rocket ship. <laughs> you are tricking me. Those are not animals. Let me guess. You're going to do tree pose next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're joking with me. All right, here we go. One more time. Maybe I'll get an animal this time. <laughs> Are you plotting? <laughs> here we go. Get ready and go. Oh, you're a crocodile. <laughs> you're a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. You remember other animals, right? From from other classes. And you're a tree, Claire. I see you. You're a tree. Okay. That was funny. All right. <laughs> Excellent, my friends. Okay. So that was really good. You totally got me on that one. Okay. Let's go all the way down to the mat like an elevator. So pretend you're in an elevator. Okay. Reach your arms all the way up. Go all the way up to the top floor. Try to reach your heels up. And then we're going to slowly take the elevator all the way down. So you're going to drop your heels, bend your knees, keep going lower and lower, lower your arms. Then you arrived at the bottom floor. That's it. Very good. All right, curl up again, hug your knees, and rock back and forth, roll front and back, and try to roll and make the bold shape. So hug your knees, and then try to straighten your legs and your arms. Roll your boat if you can, go lower and higher, Lower and higher. Maybe you can roll your boat side to side. 
when the waters are a little rough. That's it. And hug your knees to your chest. Roll on your back. Rest your arms. Rest your legs. Move your feet. Pretend that you're holding lemons in your hands and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your toes as if there were lemons in between your toes. And whew, let go, release. Bring one hand to your chest, one hand to your belly. And then think again about things that you're thankful for or people that you are thankful for. You can say it out loud if you'd like. I can't hear you, but you can say it out loud. Notice how your body moves with your breath. And if you still have more things or people that you're thankful for, keep going. Or if you're finished, make sure to feel thankful for yourself, your body. So give yourself a nice big hug. Wrap your arms around yourself. You can bend your knees here and rock a little side to side, giving yourself a hug. Feeling thankful for your body. And then shake your legs, shake your arms, shake your hands and your feet, hug your knees in, and roll up to seated. Okay, let's do the bell game, okay? So just before we say goodbye, listen for the sound of the bell, okay? So sit with me calmly for a moment, and it's just about paying attention. Remember, we are very quiet for this so that we can hear the sound of the bell, okay? So sit up nice and tall. You can have your eyes closed. When you can no longer hear the bell, when the sound is gone, you can raise your hand or open your eyes, okay? Is it done? Yes? No more sound of the bell? All right. It was so much fun doing yoga with you today. Thank you for joining me, James and Claire. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I will be here next Friday. I hope I'll see you. Thank you for joining me, and namaste, my friends.